everybody, Keith Filson with the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music back with another mouthpiece review for you. And we're really excited today. I've got a brand new mouthpiece line that I get to introduce you. And their mouthpiece is right from here in the Minneapolis, St. Paul, Twin Cities area, specifically Malacious mouthpieces. So uh, Bill Malacious is a craftsman, uh, owns a machine shop in the area, and he's been doing a lot of custom work for quite a few years. Uh, besides doing uh, building uh, Thayer valves uh, for a number of different companies, including Canstall and others. He has also been doing custom mouthpiece work for a lot of the pros in the area. You know, people who are looking for a very specific thing, he could go through. Um, he had the ability to, you know, 3D scan mouthpieces, combine different parts together, and really kind of find exactly what the pros in the area were looking for. But he kind of put his own twist, his own spin on them as well. And so after a lot of years kind of conversation back and forth, Bill has finally developed his own full line of mouthpieces. Um, these follow kind of the general box sizing. So he has sizes anywhere from a 12C all the way up to a 0.5G, which is like a Schilke 60, you know, 29 millimeter cup width in there. Um, all with kind of his own, you know, his cup design, you know, throat, backboard, blanks, all of that happening here. Um, so we are being the first official dealer for these mouthpieces. We are really excited to have them. And so I want to play for you today on uh, his 5G and compare this against a standard by 5G. And I'm going to be playing both of these on an SE Shires uh, custom tenor. <laughs> A few things that really stand out to me as a player right away with the Malacious is first off, you know, how much more open the sound feels. Like definitely, it is a little bit more open setup than the Bach, which I can really feel, you know, the result of that I think is a more open sound. Um, I definitely think it's a little bit richer sound, broader sound. Um, I think the edge of the sound is a little bit sharper for me, maybe a little bit brighter, but I think at the same time, all of the, the complexities, the overtones happening in the middle sound kind of offset that. Um, I find it to be really comfortable. I tend to gravitate towards a box style rim you know, semi-rounded with some flatness. I feel like maybe the Malaysia is just a touch flatter um, with the rim, which actually for me, I think adds some stability, but it doesn't lose the uh, flexibility that sometimes I get with a really, really flat rim setup uh, with this. Um, I think 
the one place where I felt like the Bach was at least you know really even with it was you know in the Brahms you know at the softer dynamics it's really it's a control thing but uh, what I really liked about it is with the Malaysias, I did feel like it had more stability all the way through, even though the response was a little bit different. And then, of course, at the upper dynamics, this really opened up quite a bit, gave you know me a lot more projection and the ability to push the sound outward. So, hopefully you enjoyed hearing about the Malaysias mouthpieces again. Um, you can get these through us. Right now, we are the only retailer to have these in. And so, if you like what you heard, uh, think about leaving some comments below or feel free to ask more questions about these. Um, if you like the video, of course, think about giving us a thumbs up. If this is the first video you've watched, think about subscribing to our channel. We're always trying to create new, hopefully interesting content for you. And you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So thanks as always for watching.